Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. In this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about how to build that regimen that's going to help you be able to focus and have successes along your path to medicine. So I wanted to talk to you guys about building your regimen and how to make it effective and helpful for your day-to-day -day studying and just managing all the things that you have to do as a student and a resident. So stay tuned. So a regimen is something that will be built into your routine if you just start it and continue and be consistent. So every day you want to make yourself a list of things that you need to do, including that list of the things you need to do outside of studying, like eating, getting rest, showering, things like that, so that you can have time for everything and you won't miss something as far as making an opportunity for yourself to be able to take care of yourself. Give yourself reasonable amounts of time to accomplish the goal. So if you're going to be studying for biochemistry and you want to give yourself a little extra time because maybe biochemistry is a challenging subject for you or anatomy for example may take you a little bit longer or pharmacology. So give yourself ample amounts of time to complete your review and study every day so that you don't end up going over the time that you put in your regimen and also so that you're able to you know feel like you had enough opportunity to get through everything. It's important to have a study schedule on a daily basis so that you can keep on top of what you're learning um, with some regularity because you don't want things to pile up on you and then have to cram when it comes time for a test. Ideally, every day after lecture, you're going home and you're reading a little bit and going over at least the notes from the class from that day if there's any presentations, slides, or um, reading material that they give you during the lecture, you're going over it and you're actually doing it on a daily basis. And this makes your tasks of study really, really manageable so that by the time you're like meeting with your group or doing your independent study before you are ready because you've done a little every day. You also wanna do a bit of questions each day as you're going along with your study. Anything that's relevant to your topic might be helpful to review in the format of questions or like a problem based learning kind of thing. So if you're doing, um, let's say for example, anatomy study, you want to do some questions along with it or like some activities where you can help test your knowledge as you go. Building a regimen is really important and um, something that you could totally do this year as you're making and continuing with your New Year's resolutions for study and improving um, how you're doing those things. So you want to kind of divide your study into hours and those hours you want to be very specific as far as what you're going to accomplish then. So for example, if you got out of lecture at 4 p.m., you want to set aside some time to eat from like 5 to 6 and you want to set aside some time to kind of relax and then you want to get to your work. So you want to at least give yourself an hour for um, just kind of recuperating, gathering yourself afterward and then you want to delve into making your hour to hour schedule of what you're going to do for study before you head in for bed for the night. So you want to think about maybe putting aside an hour or two per um, lecture or per subject so that you can cover everything and review everything that you've done that day. And lastly, don't forget to make time for yourself and for fun. You wanna be able to have a little bit of you time every day and to reward yourself for all the hard work that you're doing. I know for me, I always look forward to my Friday nights where I would either do something for myself, like take some time, listen to some music, buy myself a treat, something I like to eat or a drink. So those kind of things. So you wanna make time for that for you so that you can have some motivation and something to look forward to so that at the end of your day, it's not all work. You can have some time for fun and to play. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave some information about how you study in the comments below and hopefully you can motivate and inspire someone else. Give them some tips of your own by doing so. So thanks and until the next video, see ya.